Big news, everyone. You look so pretty. Exquisite. I've kind of been exposed. We've just discovered dog games. <gasps> Feels like a little while since I've vlogged, so I might be a bit rusty. But hello, everyone. Welcome back to another little vlog. Today is... What is the day today? Oh, today is Thursday. It's actually a really exciting day today. So tonight I have a video going up where I will introduce you guys to my new puppy who is down here currently playing with this. So yeah, I'm so excited because I feel like I can finally go back to posting on Instagram normally. I didn't realise how hard it was actually going to be to keep her a secret. I thought like, oh, she's so small, I'll just pop upstairs while she's sleeping and fill everyone in. But I feel like I need to watch her all the time. So yeah, it's been a bit tricky. I have actually made her an Instagram, haven't I? You've got an Instagram. Not because I'm just a crazy dog mum, but because... <laughs> The amount of pictures I've taken of her already is insane and there's no way I can fill up my Instagram with them. So I thought I'm just going to make her own page and then no, we don't chew leggings. Here she is, the little devil. You little chewer, we're trying to stop the biting at the minute, that's our next thing. Can you smell my glossy air? Can you? Can you smell my perfume? You're so sweet. We haven't got much planned today. I'm going out to meet a girl later because she's very kindly gifting me a very yummy snack so I'll show you that in a little while and that's the plan for today Ooh, excuse me oh my coffee I haven't drank it yet <laughs> just reminded myself of the viewfinder um I'm currently scrolling right on Shein because I saw in someone else's vlog the other day they bought bed sheets from Shein oh I'm not even filming myself <laughs> God, I'm not good at this anymore. Yeah, I saw someone bought bed sheets from Shein and I didn't even know they do bed sheets. So I've decided to have a look and they're really nice. Like really nice and they're so cheap. They're like 20 pounds for a duvet cover and two pillowcases, most of them. And I'm gonna be changing a few bits in my bedroom soon. So I think I might pick up some bed sheets from Shein. How cute is that with watermelons on it? <gasps> this one's really pretty, this might be the one. How nice is that with the little pink roses? I actually do love that. And it's zip, I love that when a duvet cover is zipped at the bottom rather than buttoned. I know that is such a boring adult thing to talk about, but honestly, it's an absolute game changer. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Anyway. My little one's having a nap down here on my slippers she's always by me all the time look at the floor right now this is what my new life consists of what an absolute mess oh i'm so sick of my barnet looking in the viewfinder it's, it looks so dark now like this is my natural blonde i've kind of been exposed because i have like balayage on my hair i have a white blonde balayage that's what i ask for quite a lot of people ask me that actually and it's a lot lighter than my natural hair color it's not horrendous it could be worse but that's my natural blonde but i've actually booked a hair appointment now for the end of july the 31st i'm so excited honestly i might go a bit shorter as well i've been debating that over the past couple of days let me know what you think in the comments down below do i keep it long or do i go a bit shorter like mid-length or what hmm i've just got some po box she was terrified of this it's okay it's all right it's not scary <laughs> sunny it's a <laughs> It's okay, it's gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. Big scary world, isn't it, pup? Show us your tongue. Show us your tongue. There it is. <laughs> so I've just put a harness on her. Sunny, come here. It's so cute. It's a little bit big for you still, but she's very unsure. You look so pretty. She tried to get it off. I need to order a smaller one though, it's way too big for her. It's like only just done up. <laughs> Sunny, you'll get used to it. And this is her training lead, which we're gonna take to the park. Obviously we can't do that for a while yet. She's going a bit mental because she does not like the harness. Yeah, we're gonna take this. This is for like recall. So when we're teaching her her name, which she does pretty much know, but I'm not 100% sure she'd come back yet. Where's she gone? <sighs> I feel like all I've done in this vlog is yawn. <laughs> Just woke up from a nap after I had my lunch. I'm literally like a baby. <laughs> I eat, I get comfy, and then I'm like, oh, I could do a nap now. I wanted to share with you some of the PO box that I've received recently because oh, some of this stuff exquisite so the first little package i got is from origins we all know i love my skincare it is the one thing where i'm like i genuinely really enjoy it and i'm actually i'd say quite passionate about it so from origins they sent over a couple of masks and the first one oh, i used this the other day and i loved it this is the ginseng peel off mask it smells so strong of oranges 
And then the other mask they sent is the 10 minute hydrating mask with apricot and glacier water. Haven't tried this yet, but I love the thought of a 10 minute mask. The ginseng, I think it's pronounced ginseng. But this is the ultra hydrating energy boosting cream. And this is the refreshing eye cream, which I'm so excited about. Lord knows that's what I need. And the last thing is this super spot remover. I'm intrigued by this. I love a little targeted spot treatment. I actually prefer that to like, like a spot treatment face wash or anything. Anyway, next up, Glossy Box. How beautiful is this box? I haven't actually opened this yet, so I don't know what's in here. Anytime there's a sheet mask in the Glossy Box, I just feel like I've won the lottery. So we have a watermelon sheet mask. That's gonna look pretty on me, isn't it? We also have the Aloha bronzer. I can always do with the bronzer. You know me, I love a bit of bronze. These are vegan highlighting glow drops. This is a primer for the face or hand cream all oh, this packaging this feels lovely look at that doesn't that give you organic natural vibes and then finally the palm balm lip and cheek balm and color right the next thing i'm excited about this one i've actually been working with these guys over on instagram but this vlog isn't sponsored i just want to tell you about it because i am honestly loving it and i've raved about it to every person i know so you might have seen on facebook or instagram ads for estrid razors i saw them too and me and my friends talked about them they are such beautiful colors these razors i can't believe i've got them I actually can't believe it. So I've got one in this colour. This is the travel case. Obviously, isn't the actual razor. This colour is so beautiful. Look at that peach. I think peach is my new favourite colour, you know. I was thinking that the other day. So if you get the starter pack from Estridge, you get the razor, you get the wall holder, and you get, I believe, a couple of these cartridges. And then you can subscribe, so that then you just get sent more cartridges when you need them. The starter pack $7.95, and then the travel case is $5.95. The first thing that took me by surprise is how heavy these razors are. They feel such lovely quality i've never had such a heavyweight sturdy razor i currently have the pink one stuck in my bathroom because that's the one i'm using and i've never used such a sharp razor honestly it gives such a good shave my legs are absolutely living their best lives and if you use the code hannah at checkout estrid are actually going to be donating a pound to the Fawcett society organization it won't cost you anything but they will donate a pound for every purchase and that organization works towards women's rights in the uk so all good stuff. Today, this arrived. You might have seen Sunny was terrified of the box. So in here, we have Delicate Soothing Cleanser. Also, a recovery serum and a recovery cream. Oh my gosh, I need to do some reading about these, but I love this packaging so far. Look at that. I love a bit of lilac. Anyway, thank you very much to all the lovely brands who very kindly sent me PR products this week. I'll link all of these products in the description down below in case anything caught your eye. But... What's my next job of the day? I'm not sure actually. Oh, these sunnies. I'm back. I bought a whole bunch of sunglasses for a job that I'm doing coming up. And this pair are definitely my favourites. They're all from Pretty Little Thing. You'll probably see it on my Instagram soon. How cute are they? They're little hearts. I love them. I think they're well cool. I'm excited for it to get sunny again next week so I can wear them. Thought I'd show you guys what we've been practising. We've been practising training haven't we wait at ah, sunny she's very excited sunny sit down good girl sit down good girl down down not till your elbows are on the floor sit down good girl come on you're not even 10 weeks old yet down good girl Wow, you were thirsty. Do you know what? I never knew it would be so worrying when your dog doesn't do a poo. <laughs> I know this is probably a bit TMI, but I'm about to pop out to go and meet this lovely girl from Instagram. Whoa. Yeah, she's very kindly made me a tray bake. And Sunny hasn't done a poo. And I'm like, she hasn't done a poo all day, which is weird. This is not something I signed up for. Also, the poo diaries in our house. When did she last have a poo? What time did she poo? Things people don't tell you about getting a dog. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You are not even ready for this. Honestly guys, I just met the lovely Michaela. I'll put her Instagram on screen here. Her username is TreyBakes underscore and underscore treats. She is a self-taught baker. Honestly, I can't believe it because this looks incredible. She was such a lovely girl as well. We stood and had a little chat for quite a while. So she has made me a Kinder Bueno and Nutella Blondie. How cute does this look? We've got a lovely little note from her here. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Can we actually just take a minute? How incredible 
does that look? I'm about to cut it open and have a bit of a cup of tea, but I just wanted to show you guys because this is insane. Kinder Bueno is my favourite chocolate ever. I've gotten through far too many bars during lockdown, let me tell you that much. So Michaela's prices, these blondies are £14, which I think is so reasonable for this. Like 1000%, I would rather have this than a cake for any occasion. Look how big that is. If you've got any kind of occasion coming up, whether it's a birthday, whatever, whatever it is, one of these would be perfect. Even just to treat yourself. I'm probably gonna do that just when I'm feeling a bit down. I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I need a brownie or a blondie in my life. Super reasonable, all homemade. You can tell her what toppings you want. You can have a little chat with her and discuss it. Honestly, such an incredible idea. And she only started it during lockdown, so that girl is a hustler. She said, I'm not gonna sit around in lockdown and do nothing. I'm gonna start a business and I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> so thank you so much, Michaela, for gifting this to me. Honestly, I can't wait to tuck into it. I am beyond excited. Which bit do I even start with? Do I start with an edge piece or do I cut a middle piece? I can't cut straight into the middle, can I? That's criminal. Look how yummy these look. Michaela said she also sometimes... Oh, Sunny sneezed. Did you sneeze? Michaela said sometimes she puts hers in the microwave and then they go all gooey in the middle. Well, that was delicious. Anyway, I am currently watching Jade Billington's new video. She did like a social media detox for 24 hours and I'm thinking I might actually do this video as well. I'll ask Jade if she doesn't mind first if I do decide to do it. But I think it's such a good idea. I spend way too long on my phone. To be honest, that's something that Sunny has really helped with because now I don't really have a lot of time. Well, I do still have time. She sleeps a lot. But I have less time to be on my phone, which is a positive. My screen time before we got Sunny was six to seven hours a day, which is so bad. My video with Sunny has also gone up. That went up about an hour ago now, and you guys seem to be loving Sunny just as much as I do. So thank you so much if you left a lovely comment on that video. Honestly, I'm just sat here reading every single comment, and they are so, so lovely. So... Thank you very much, guys. I asked you guys if you had any questions at all about me and Sunny and anything like that. And someone said, why didn't you share her when you first got her? And basically, the reason why I decided not to say anything is pretty much because I've never had a dog and I wanted to spend quality time learning about her. It's something that I was really anxious about before I got her. So the added pressure of posting her online and potentially doing things wrong and being criticised for it. I just thought, no, I can do without that. I want to learn about it at my own pace. So I always thought, as soon as I knew we were going to have Sunny, I thought I'm not going to share her until I feel ready to. And I know a lot about her and I know her personality and her routine and things like that. Because now I feel like I know her almost inside out. So I just felt more comfortable sharing her now rather than when she first came home, to be honest. I hope I explained everything well in that video. Ooh. I might go and do some dinner now. We're having a stir fry tonight, so that's one I can cook. <laughs> Quick interlude from the nails, but here is tonight's dinner. This is chicken stir fry. I'm not sure what sauce this is, to be honest, because, have a confession, I didn't actually make it. I didn't realise that when I said I was going to make it, my mum had already started. So, homemade chicken stir fry mid painting my nails i've gone for a lilac color super pretty but i haven't yet done this hand i'll do that after dinner and of course i've got my little buddy big news everyone <laughs> look at my hair anyway big news i was about to say apparently harry styles has read a bedtime story on the calm app big news because harry styles voice is very relaxing as it is i listen to the calm app every single night when i'm going to sleep usually raindrops on leaves or ocean waves but apparently mr harry styles has a bedtime story on here now <gasps> 39 minutes. Hello. I'm Harry Styles. And tonight, I'm going to help you drift off to sleep. <laughs> Stop it. With some soothing words. Stop it, Harry Styles. A sleep story just for you. <gasps> just for me. And everyone else that's listening to this. With all the busyness of your day. So busy. I know how hard it can be. It really to is hard, Harry. It's difficult. So thank you for choosing this story. You're welcome. I wish you a wonderful night's sleep. Thank you, Harry. Take a deep breath in. And then out.
I'm cured. I can sleep suddenly. I'm fine now. Did you see that? I nearly drifted off then. Thank you, Mr. Harry Styles. That truly is incredible, that. What a world we're living in, eh? That just made my money worth it. What is it? £34 a year? Worth it. Just for that one minute and 26 seconds that i've listened to so if that ain't value for money i don't know what is anyway i'm about to take my makeup off <laughs> got very distracted there and i'm gonna use this face mask that was in my glossy box today if lockdown was a look on a high-end fashion catwalk i think we have a contender ladies and gentlemen this is the weirdest thing it's not like a full face mask it's literally just like loads of little circles you put on your face wherever you want i thought if i was meant to put them all on my face <laughs> thinking about it maybe you meant to put them on like your problem areas i've just tried to create my own face mask from it anyway i'll see you in the morning have a lovely sleep my cherubs good morning everyone excuse my voice it's super early but i haven't seen little pup this morning yet so i'm gonna go down and show you her reaction my mum's down there with her at the minute like i said excuse my voice let's go and see where's sunny <gasps> hi Good morning, good morning. Look at your tail wag, 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 wag. So we're just about to head down to the river to go and see the swans. Sunny's in her little car seat here and she's also got her seat belt on, haven't you? Um, we want her to get used to the swans as young as possible really because we walk down to the river a lot and we don't want her to be scared of them when she's older and barking at them and things like that. We want it to be a nice experience so obviously she can't touch the ground yet because she hasn't had her second injections. She has those at the end of this month. She actually really doesn't mind the car seat. I mean she likes my hand to be in there so that she knows I'm here but other than that she's really good in the car sniffing around listening to the cars it's also really good for her socialization that she's going to be hearing cars and things before we actually take her out for a proper walk because obviously we can't do that for a while sunny it's look cat. a cat a real life one this is sunny's first time meeting a cat hello is that the same one that we usually see yeah smell him We've just got home, literally two minute drive, but it's quite a long walk, so we didn't want to walk with her. I think someone likes her car seat. Absolutely knackered her out, meeting a cat, seeing the swans, seeing some children playing. Wow, it's a big day for a little pup. Change of plan EO for this morning. I've just had a job come in from Iconic London for a blusher that I've been loving lately. So I'm about to sit and film that. And by the way, if you're ever wondering, like when I'm upstairs, where Sunny is, she's either asleep or she's playing with my mum. Right now, she's asleep. She's asleep 90% of the time. Wait till you see this. I'm mid doing my makeup, which is why I look like this now. But this package just arrived and I've ordered these for quite a while now. Um, they're basically little hair bows for dogs. And I know some of you are gonna think that's ridiculous, but I think they look so lovely. So I've ordered her a few of these. They're from an Instagram page called Charlie's Noodles or Charlie Noodles, I can't remember. I'll put their Instagram on screen here. It's just this girl who makes these handmade bows and they are so sweet. But Sunny is too small for the small ones. And the other day I saw that she bought out some extra small ones. So I thought I'll order a couple of those and see how they fit. They're still too big, but I've just put one on her for the first time and it looks so cute. Got her the yellow one for Sunny. Sunny. Hello. I'll show you the picture that we just took instead. I'll put it on screen here. I love them. Obviously she's not gonna wear them all the time, just for special occasions, hey? Special occasions. Weddings, bar mitzvahs. Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also got her in the extra small. I don't know how well you can see, but it's a bit textured. And then this one is the size small, but I thought this red polka dot one would look really cute. She also has quite a few others. <laughs> But we'll get around to wearing them one day, won't we? But this one is just massive on her at the minute. Look at that. That's going to look so sweet when she's bigger, though. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are we all doing? I'm currently setting up my camera to film these Insta stories. Da -da -da. Hi. Hello. I'm losing the plot. I've changed my jumper quickly because it's for blush. These are the three blushes that I'm about to do it for. The middle one is my absolute fave. This is in the shade Rose Riot. So I've done all my makeup apart from my blush and I'm now going to film these stories. Sorry, I keep forgetting. So yeah, let's crack on. Here's today's lunch. Super quick and easy one. But I've just got a carrot and red pepper hummus. A little bit of toast because I didn't got any pitta. But to be honest, I quite like toasting hummus anyway. So it's super easy and it's much cheaper than pitta. So that's fab. Got a little bit of fruity couscous and very random, but a bit of chorizo. Not sure why I've got that out. It was in the fridge and I thought, mm, I like chorizo. I'll add it to the plate. So that is my quick and easy lunch today. This is what I call how to look after a puppy when you've got work to do and there's no one else at home. Sit. 
Good girl. Licky mat. Oh, this is our first experience of the licky mat. We've got some dog peanut butter in there. Oh, that's so yummy. Look at your tongue. That's going to keep you busy, isn't it? I've been trying to wear her out for about at least 20 minutes now. Where's your really? <gasps> Ready. Go! Run, run. <laughs> Should we watch Frozen tonight? We're going to have an evening of puppies. Disney Plus and a cup of tea. Perfect. Eh? Perfect. Sunny with her Ellie. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you for your kisses. We've just discovered dog games on, on my phone. She's actually really good at it. Go on, Sunny, get it. Good girl. Go on, get it. She's definitely looking at it. Well done. <laughs> she loves it. I don't know why this is so amusing. Good girl. Oh, advert. I can't believe how much she loved that game. That was so funny. Bless her. I think she's actually a really clever dog. Sorry to put my lamp on. I think she's really clever. I think poodles are supposed to be quite a clever breed. I think she's definitely inherited that. She's so quick. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and had a little insight into my day with Sunny. Don't worry, though. If you're not really into puppy content, not all my vlogs are going to be like this. She'll probably feature in most of them because she's a big part of my life, but they're not going to be as dog-focused as this one. I'm aware that me getting a puppy isn't a big deal to anyone else other than me so obviously my normal content will still be going up too but anyway i'm gonna hop in the bath so i hope you all have a lovely sunday or a lovely rest of the week if you're watching this on another day do subscribe to see my future videos feel free to let me know in the comments down below what videos you would like to see from me i am open to ideas but anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love ya